Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. Today's video I'm going to show you how to make the puff stitch scarf. You can do this in a hat, scarf, blanket, whatever you'd like. And for your foundation row, for your multiples, it's just even numbers. So however wide you want your project is fine. Um, I do need to apologize though because I have been absent for a little while. I had an injury to my left thumb here where the um, the ligament, the UCL ligament was torn. Um, so I've been to therapy, all that, injections, and I need surgery. So next Thursday I'm having surgery to repair the tendon. It's about a possible four month recovery total. Um, so hopefully once that heals, then I'll be back in full swing. Um, I haven't been able to really crochet a lot because trying to hold the, the project is not easy and it does cause pain so I can only do a few minutes and then I have to stop. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I am using the Caron Cotton Cakes. This is a wonderful yarn. Um, it is a medium weight for and it recommends using a five millimeter crochet hook. But for this pattern, I'm actually going to use a six millimeter. You're also gonna need a yarn needle for weaving in your ends. And then of course, your scissors. And these are cool. I actually ordered them off of Amazon. All right, so for today's video, I'm just going to do a foundation row of 20 to get started. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So here we have your 20 chains. So to get started with your pattern, you're gonna go into your fourth chain from the hook and remember never counting the loop on your hook. So count back one, two, three, and four. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna yarn over and you're gonna go into your stitch, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. And there you have three loops on your hook. And then you're gonna yarn over, again, going into your stitch and pulling up a loop. So now you have five loops on your hook. And then you're gonna yarn over one more time, going back into that same stitch, grabbing your yarn, pulling through. And here you have seven loops on your hook. So you're gonna yarn over, grab your yarn and pull through all seven and then you're going to chain one to lock it in place. Okay, see, sometimes I have to pull a little just to get, to be able to see the next um, stitch. So then you're gonna skip one and then go into your next. Same thing, you're gonna yarn over, go into your stitch, grab your yarn and pull through and kind of pull up a little bit so that you don't struggle pulling through all of them. Yarn over, go into the stitch, grab your yarn, pull through. There you have five loops on your hook. Yarn over, grab your yarn, go back into your stitch, and pull up a loop. And there you have seven. Yarn over and pull through all seven. Well, shoot. I have to redo that one. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is um, the struggles I've been dealing with. I, mean, I do apologize. Okay. Remember, skip a stitch, go into the next one. Grab your yarn, pull through. Yarn over, go into your stitch, grab your yarn and pull through. Yarn over, going into your stitch, grabbing your yarn and pulling through. Making sure you have seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all seven and then you chain one to lock it in place. 
move them in just a little bit so I can put my hands down a little more. All right, skip a stitch, go into your next one. Yarn over, go into your stitch, grab your yarn and pull through. Maybe I should have waited to, to do a video. This is kind of annoying me. Yarn over, go in, pull up a stitch or a loop. You have five loops on your hook. Yarn over, go into your stitch, grabbing your yarn, pulling through. You have seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all seven. Chain one to lock it in place. Skip a stitch, go into the next one right here. Yarn over, go into your stitch, grab your yarn and pull through. There's three loops on your hook. Yarn over, go into your stitch, grab your yarn and pull through. There's five. Yarn over, go into your stitch and pull up a loop. There you have seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all seven. Chain one to lock it in place. And here is what your puff stitches will look like. The first couple of rows, it really doesn't look all that pretty, but it gets so much better as you get further along into your project. So right there is your next stitch. Skip that one, go into your next one. Yarn over, go into your stitch, grab your yarn and pull through. Yarn over, go into your stitch, grab your yarn and pull through. You have five loops on your hook at this point. Yarn over, go into your stitch, grab your yarn and pull through. And there you have seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all seven loops. Chain one to lock it in place. Skip. Go into your next one. Yarn over. Go into your stitch. Grab your yarn and pull through. Yarn over. Go into your stitch. Grab your yarn and pull through. Yarn over. Go into your stitch. Grabbing your yarn and pulling through. Yarn over and pull through all seven. Chain one to lock it in place. We're getting close to the end here. All right, so skip this stitch, go into your next one, yarn over, into your stitch, grabbing the yarn and pulling through. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, grab your yarn and pull through, that's five. Yarn over, go in, grab your yarn and pull through, <clears throat> that's seven. So yarn over and pull through all seven loops. Chain one to lock it in place. Skip your next stitch going into the next one. Yarn over, go into your stitch, grab your yarn and pull through. Yarn over, going into your stitch, grabbing your yarn and pull through. Yarn over, into your stitch, grab your yarn and pull through. There's seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all seven. Chain one to lock it in place. All right, we have two stitches left. So in the last stitch, all you're gonna do is a double crochet. So skip this stitch, go into the next one, and just do a double crochet. And there you have made your first puff stitch row. All right, so to start your next row, you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Turn your work, 
And what you're gonna do is you're gonna work right into the top of that first puff stitch. Okay, you can see the stitch. Oh, sorry. You can see your stitch right here. Okay, so I'm gonna yarn over, go underneath both of those bars, grab your yarn and pull through. Yarn over, going into your stitch, grabbing your yarn and pulling through. There you have five loops on your hook. Yarn over, go in, grab your yarn and pull through. And then you're gonna pull through all seven. Chain one to lock it in place. And then you're gonna work right into the top of the next puff stitch. So yarn over, go into the top of your puff stitch, going underneath both bars, grab your yarn and pull through. So essentially what you're doing is you're yarning over and going through and pulling up yarn three times. And that will give you seven loops on your hook. And make sure you grab your yarn and pull through all seven and don't forget to chain one to lock it in place. So here's your next one. So there's one, two, and three. That gives you seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all seven. chain one to lock it in place. And there's your next puff stitch right there in the top. You're gonna go in right there. So you're gonna yarn over as once, twice, and your third. Yarn over, pull through all seven, chain one to lock it in place. I have to apologize for the, the big bulky splint, but this is the only way that I can do anything without this thumb really just acting a fool. So anyway, yarn over once, yarn over, pulling up twice, yarn over, pulling up, and there's three. There's your seven loops on the hook, yarn over, Pull through all seven, chain one. So this is how it will look. Okay, go into your next puff stitch, right there at the top. So yarn over once, yarn over, going in twice, yarning over, going in and pulling up three times. Yarn over, pull through all seven. Okay, here's the top of your next one. So there's one, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through all seven, chain one, locking it in place. And here's the top of your next one. So we have one, two, oh, sorry, and three. Yarn over, pull through all seven. Chain one to lock it in place. And then here we're at the very end, and this was the, um, when you first started, remember you went into your fourth chain from the hook, which essentially gave you a double crochet. So you're just gonna make a double crochet right there. And there we are at the end of the second row. Sorry. So this is how it should be looking. All right, I'm gonna 
gonna show you another row. When you're finished with your project, you can add fringes on um, to the ends, which I did on one scarf that I made, um, and it turned out really cute. And what I did to do the fringes, you see where you have your spaces right here underneath your puff stitches? That's where I put the fringes. All right. Oh, I just took my double crochet out, sorry. Guys, I, I really do apologize. This video is, is not the greatest. Um, I really am struggling here and doesn't look good for me, I'm sorry. But anyway, so chain three, turn your work. You're gonna go into your very first puff stitch right there at the top. Yarn over, go into the top, grab your yarn and pull through. You're gonna do that three times. Yarn over and pull through all seven. Chain one to lock it in place. Go into the top of your next puff stitch right there. Yarn over, go in, pull up. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go in, pull up your yarn. Wow. I really should not have even tried this video today, but you know, I wanted to show you guys this. One, two, and three. All right, there's the top of your next puff stitch. One, two, and three. Yarn over and pull through all seven. Yarn over, go into your stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go into your stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go into your stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all of your loops. Chain one to lock it in place. All right, here is the top of your next uh, puff stitch. So yarn over, go in, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pulling through all seven, chaining one. Here's your next one. Remember to yarn over, go in, pull up a loop three times. And there's my third. Yarn over and pull through all seven. Chain one to lock it in place. Let me grab a little more yarn here. All right, here's the last puff stitch and then there's the top. So yarn over, go in, pull up a loop. Yarn over, <clears throat> go in, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go in, pulling up a loop. You have seven loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all seven. Chain one. And then here is your chain three from your previous row. And just do your double crochet. And this is what it's looking like. This is a really pretty um, pattern for the um, either an ombre yarn or variegated yarn, um, you know, self-changing colors, whatever. The one of the ones I made was the um, I made it with the Lion Brand Mandala yarn, and it was in a blue um, colorway. 
and it had just tiny little hints of brown in it, but like several different shades of blue. That was a, a gorgeous, gorgeous scarf. All right, so here we are. Again, I apologize. This video has not been the greatest. Um, gloves again, eczema flare up. I don't want y'all to see that nasty stuff on my hands. But anyway, here we are. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate you following me. And if you haven't followed me already, please do so. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified of new videos, please hit the bell so that you will get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Again, surgery next Thursday. Hopefully everything goes well and I recover very quickly because I'm totally ready to get back into the full swing of the crochet world. <laughs> Again, thank you for watching.